We felt that Juliet needed a clean break, a new start, away from old friends and influences. Mm. Well, Hartley's a good choice. I mean, we have our problems like any other school, but nowhere near as bad as some of the places you've been to. No, I'm sure I like it here. Well, we're going to give you every opportunity. What happened to you in the past won't go beyond these four walls. Thanks. I hate being tagged. But by the same token, there won't be any second chances. One breach of trust and you're out, yeah? Yeah, I know that. No, I really want to make a go of it this time. Good. Well, I hope you mean it. Mm -hmm. I won't let either of you down. Good. Ah, Good morning, girls. Hello. Good morning. Anita, this is Juliet. She's just joined us at Hartley. Hi. Hi. Um, I was wondering if you'd buddy her while she's settling in. Yeah, sure. Good. You're in very safe hands here. Thanks. Thanks. Just a wild guess. They call her the Commandant, right? No, the witch, actually. <laughs> so what school are you from? Out of town. OK. <laughs> Juliet, do you do history? Yeah, please don't call me Juliet. Call me Jet. OK, Jet, we um, better get going, because we'll be late. OK. Come on, move it, people. I want to finish this today, not tomorrow. Come on. Hey, guys, this is Jet. She's new. Oh, oh, my God. God. She get my engine chuck, chuck, chuck. Today we're going to be talking about the democratic process. Now, for the good news, instead of actually just reading about it, we're going to put the process into action, OK? Well, good. Can we vote you out then, sir? No. Miss Barnett has decided that with a number of official end-of-year functions coming up, that Hartley needs a new school captain. Yay! Yeah. There you go. Yep. Oh, jeez, that's a surprise. <laughs> Is anyone going to nominate? I'll nominate Jurassic, sir. Uh -huh. Thanks, mate. Thanks. What about you, Anita? Hmm? You're a resident politician. Uh, no, thanks, sir. I'm interested in real politics, not becoming Barnett's puppet. Oh, that wasn't too bad, was it? What, you think so? I think that Delane's a dropkick. No, he's not. He's OK once you get used to him. Has to get used to it. Idiots never. This my old man you're talking about. Hey, it's OK. He said much worse, you know. Delane's a pain, but he cares. Who's the punk on wheels? It's Drazic. He's trouble. Well, what's the dirt on him? I think you better ask him that yourself. Why? I'm just not the best person to ask. What, are you guys on together or something? We were. It's ancient history. And is he with anyone now? Nope. He's all alone. How good she, eh? I was, uh, perving on her in class today. She's OK. Mm. You, uh, feel like a uh, game of doubles, mate? Not on the pool surface, mate. It's too hard. <laughs> thought you said she was just OK. OK is good. Mm, don't look now. You girls mind if we uh, join in, us boys? Members of different species shouldn't really mix. No, you shouldn't touch what you can't tame. You know, we should, um, hook up. I think we're both pretty wild. Yes, but I'm a wild flower, and you, unfortunately, are a wild ape. So get lost. Jay. Very good, Jeff. You were sleep with those guys. Shh. Made them easy. Well, I don't think you need a buddy anymore. I think she's keen, man. Yeah, sure. I don't know why girls Thank want you. me so much. Hey. Hey, yourself. Look, I um, just wanted to apologise for last night. Dennis can be a bit of a knob sometimes. Dennis? Well, I wasn't much better myself. I didn't pick you for the type that apologised too often. Yes, well, I surprise myself sometimes. So what do you want? Well, I thought maybe we could, um, do something together, just two of us. You don't mean go out? Well, yeah, hang together. What, upside down? Or horizontally. <laughs> Listen, ape man, I haven't made up my mind about you yet, so... When I do, I'll let you know. OK.
Where'd you get the wheels? Oh, I fell off the back of a truck. <laughs> hey, my old man's loaded. He keeps buying me things. What are you doing here? I thought you said you wanted to do something if you change your mind. No. Then I guess you could call this a pickup. So you made your mind up about me now, have you? <laughs> no. Just starting the process. Oh, and how long will that take? Depends. But if you jump in, then maybe we can see if we can clear the first hurdle. Sick. It's going to take a while. Why am I? Jazz, let me say this slowly. I do not want you to wait for me, OK? OK, cool. Hey, I had a wicked time, you know? Yeah, like me too. really... It was... Yeah, it was fun. Sick. See you tomorrow. OK. Aren't you going to lock it? Uh, no. Be cool. All right. I'll see you tomorrow. OK, take it easy. Yep. What's the deal with you? What are you on about? The car. The cops were all over it this morning. Yeah? Surprise. Pigs usually aren't that efficient. You let me drive around in a stolen car. Don't shout at me. You hassled me to let you take it for a burn. Yes, but I didn't know it was stolen. Come on, I told you it fell off the back of a truck. What did you think I meant? You know, and you also said, oh, my dad bought it for me. Yeah, like I expected you to believe that. What am I supposed Come to believe? On. There's all these lies. The guy left the keys in the car. Rich dudes pulling insurance stunts. He wanted it nicked. So what if the cops had pulled me over while I was driving it? I would be on the inside now. So what? It ain't that bad. I like you'd know. Yeah, I would. Yeah, right. I'm here as a condition of my release, Jazzy. Why else would I come to a dump like this? What were you in for? Theft, cars, fun stuff. You really suck, you know that. Yeah, but at least we won't die of boredom. <laughs> Hey, I just wanted to um, let you know that I've forgiven you. Get real for what? For the cops and the car and all that. You've forgiven me? Yeah, sort of found it in myself to do that. <laughs> You'd better be joking, Draz. I um, actually thought that stunt was pretty cool. Well, stay tuned, because you ain't seen nothing yet. <sighs> well, um, do you want to hang out tonight? Are you talking date again? Yeah? Told you, you need to prove yourself first. Why do I have to prove myself? Because you freaked yourself over the car and I don't go out with wimps. All right, well, what do I have to do then? Does the principal have a car? What's wrong? Where's my car? <laughs> it's been stolen. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. I was parked here. Do you want me to get find a police or something? No, no. Juliet, could I have a word with you, please? So 
So because of my background, every time something happens around here, I'm going to take the blame, am I? No. I'm just asking you if you know anything about it. Why? Why me? I don't see anyone else around here. You have a history of car theft, Juliet. Oh, and I thought my past wouldn't be held against me. And it won't be? Well, it doesn't seem that way to me. Where were you this afternoon? I was in class. Ask anyone. And in the break? Going over some notes. I don't care about your car. By yourself? No, I was with Anita, actually. Are you sure about that? Well, if you don't take my word for it, why don't you go ask her? Well, that won't be necessary, Juliet. This is nothing personal. Oh, I think it is. Yes, excuse me, I'm in a private conversation. Oh, thank you. I've just found your car. Is it all right? Well, I asked, but it didn't say anything. That's very funny, Dennis. Can you take me to it, please? Follow me. Yeah, it's not a bad park, if I do say so myself. <laughs> All right, come on, get off my car, thank you. Come on. Ah, that looks all right. Yeah, maybe just wanted to change the scenery. <laughs> Present for you, miss. And break on. All right. I know that someone from this school is responsible for this, and I'm warning you they're treading on dangerous ground, very dangerous ground. If I find out who's done this, they will be in big trouble. Do you understand me? Stop. I'm glad your car's OK. Safe motoring, babe. You know, I reckon we should hook up. We'd make a wicked combo. Oh, yeah, I just love a bad boy. <sighs> Are you referring to me? <laughs> no, you're just half a bad boy. You took the car 100 metres down the road, you didn't even vandalise it. Oh, well, that's because you only asked me to steal it, not take it for a joyride. I guess so. So, I guess I proved myself then, didn't I? I know I was acting a little crazy